Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights! When last we left off, we got to the final room of Mutamin's dungeon. And I need to cast Bull Strength on myself because I'm actually overburdened. This will not only help me fight things better, but will also give me that edge that I need against whatever final foe I need to face, which isn't a dire spider. Although a dire spider is still perilous. We don't want to... Uh, Oh, that just actually happened. We don't want strength reductions or anything like that, so we're probably going to have to rest again. Or we could cast... Neutralize Poison? Do I have that prepared? I have removed disease. I think we have Neutralize Poison as a scroll somewhere. Neutralize Poison, there we go! We have scrolls for every occasion! We also have... Dire Tigers for every occasion, because we are going to need to have that Dire Tiger here. Cast the rings, stone skin on you, this stone skin on me, and then we're probably going to have to put the um, various items in that chest that we got, the crystal items. The crystal egg, the crystal frog, and the crystal skull. Let's see what happens. I get the feeling something's going to happen with that. The final challenge lies before you. Oh, there's a another challenge? Well, we're about to find out. And where is the crystal frog? There we go. Is that correct? Ah, the skull is not the way out of the dungeon. Prepare yourself. Oh. The skull is not the way out? Oh, I have to pick one. Well, I suppose we should uh, deal with these enemies and then fight whatever's beyond. Prepare yourself by just throwing some pretty simple skeleton warriors at us. They're not that difficult. It does mean that spells are being cast here that probably could be better used against whatever is uh, beyond. So it's not that. Is it the uh, the frog? Well, currently you're having difficulty actually getting to the chest. Is it the frog? I'm going to guess it's the frog. Is it the frog? Oh, the frog is not the way out the dungeon either! Blue slots! Blue slots are somewhat different to red slots. They have spell casting capability, I believe. Leave? Yes, they do! They do have the ability to summon red slots. They are actually a little easier, I find, than um, the uh, red slots, purely because they have a lot more spell casting. Well, there you go. That's the blue slots taken care of. So, it was, in fact, the very last one, which would be the egg. The egg is the way out of the dungeon. You've completed the competition. Prepare to be returned to the surface. Oh, is that it? That indeed seems to be it. Hello, Jeru. You've won the competition. Congratulations. Speak to Mutamin to collect your award. We're definitely not going to betray you and take all of the, uh, the gold for ourselves and then throw you back into an even harder dungeon. Ooh, there is a guard still here. Was it a fun competition? I greet you. I won the wager on you, my lord. Bravo! Bravo! Hey, you betted on me. Did... Oh, loot. Potions. We can always do with those. What about here? Somebody else? Did... You... Oh, <laughs> that's not shut the door on you. Did you bet on me? I greet you. You completed the dungeon! Astounding! Absolutely amazing! What about in here? Hello. Hurrah for the hero! Tell us a first-hand account of your victory, yes? W weren't you watching? Well, yes, I was, but, uh... Oh, feel free to loot this treasure chest, by the way. As soon as you unlock it. <laughs> Just locking the bear out. And the tiger. She's probably regretting us, uh... Coming in here with all these, uh... No, no, stop. Stop attacking the chest. We've already opened it. 
We've already opened the chest. In fact, that actually stopped me from being able to rest down here. Okay, so we have in fact won, Mutamin. We have won! And I would like... the prize. The prize is... probably some money. It could be an item. So, it seems you're the one who's won my little contest, eh? Congratulations are certainly in order. Well, thank you. It, um... It had its tricky points. What do you mean, it had its tricky points? Well, most of the enemies weren't particularly challenging. There were a, a few bits, like the beginning with all the massive amount of spiders. I mean, that was a little challenging. You're far too high level for this, aren't you? Maybe. Why, sometimes I long for the days when I used to travel and adventure as you do, but I'm sure you didn't come here to hear me talk. <laughs> here you go. Half my fortune for your troubles. I hope it was worth it for you. Once again, congratulations. Your fortune was 900 gold. How much did it cost you to set that dungeon up? I... Getting all the monsters there, building the massive area, unless it was already there, that, that would have cost a lot of money. Is your fortune 900 gold? I mean, admittedly, for somebody who runs an inn, 900 gold is a lot of money. But still, 900 gold? Hmm. Uh, well... But, well, it was half his fortune. It would seem a bit rude to take more of it. So, I'm just gonna thank him for the experience. Thank you. That was quite the experience. Well, I'd love to ask you all about it, but I'm sure you're busy, and I saw well enough with my own eyes. Farewell. That's kind of a bit of a muted ending to that. It's a very muted ending. Also, it's not at all what I remember actually happening. I remember it actually being more... Well, I thought that there would be somebody there from Luskan who was actually infiltrating it and spying on the whole thing and wanted to try I and rumble it. I am overburdened. It. Perhaps you should bear some of my and load. And basically, my memories of it were that, that would, um, we'd sort of end up working with them and then Mutamin was up to something even worse than just running the competition, but perhaps I'm mixing this up with something else. I might very well be. But that's what I rem thought was going to happen. It's not actually what happened. Now I need to go and sell some stuff, which involves the Stone of Recall. I'm going to be spending a little bit of money on the Stone of Recall at this point, but it is quite a journey to get back. So we shall travel via Stone of Recall. Excellent. And so, we moved on. Back to the shops. Back to trading. Back to finding out what these various suits of armor are. That's a piece of scale mail. Oh, no. Yeah, it's scale mail, I think. Yeah, four and four-ish scale mail, I think. Actually, it might not be scale mail if it's light armor. No, it's medium armor. Yep, scale mail. Hey, I'll tell you. Look what I've got to sell you. I have this item. Armor of thorns. I think I've already sold you a suit of that. What about this one? Family armor. Hmm, that's actually quite good. I mean, if you were using medium armor and, uh... Scale mail plus one, but the immunity to mind-affecting spells. Pretty good. And I can sell it for 7,000. I don't need it, but hey. It's quite cool. What else did we find there that we could sell or identify. What's this armor? This is studded leather or hide. The armor of loyalty, which gives you spell immunity to charm person and dominate person. Whoa. Considers his men above reproach. Yeah, it doesn't stop people from just being bribed, so be careful with that. What about this? Woohoo. A belt of hill giant strength. Yes, please. Now I have 22 strength at the moment. That's going to go down by, I think, 2. But still, 20 strength? Is it 20 strength? Plus 3 enhancement. It's going to be a lot. Hey, I'll tell you. It's going to be a lot. So let's sell this sapphire. 
and find out what this shield is. It's just a small shield plus three, which gives plus four armor, which is not better than the thing I'm currently using, which gives me plus five. Do I need this? Mm, no, I do not need that. Do I need anything on this page? Well, the potion of speed I most certainly want to hold on to. I also want to hold on to these two potions there. And I do believe one of these bags has a potion of bull strength lying around that I can put that there. Oh, looks like uh, we're inventory's pretty empty again. And I don't think we're going to be having inventory problems for a while now. Because if I were to rest, my carrying capacity is now 233 pounds. Because my strength is 19. That is considerate. Or considerable, rather than considerate. It's considerate that uh, the game will give me that. That's really good. I mean, my carrying capacity is 233 pounds. I'm not going to have much problem carrying things for a while. Hello. We're just uh, heading back. Am I even heading the right way? No, no I am not. I most certainly am not heading the right way. So, let's move on. That character is just staring at a wall. Well, if she wishes to do that, let's move on. We have one more thing we need to do before we basically don't ever come back to Port Last. We need to go and find this tomb where this final tome is. Because we're searching for these tomes, and it will be worth the 150 gold that we spend to get there. We just need to find where this is. There are a few roads leading around the various areas, so let's just have a look. Also, this means we're just going to be hitting that much harder. Hello, zombie. <laughs> Prepare to become will I even get experience for this? Three. Well, that's not so bad. This is probably... Hmm. There is a signpost here. The signpost reads, Beware, the undead are restless. Bring weapons to visit Grandma or don't visit her at all. Really. Signed, the caretaker. Hmm. They were not kidding when they said that the undead were restless. Look at all of those undead. There's a lot of undead. If we're going to want to go in there, we're probably going to have to fight all of those zombies. It'll be like going into the beggar's nest all over again. Let's actually go into this uh, house and talk to the caretaker. This little gnome smirks and chuckles to himself as he works. Hello. Good day. Eh? What's this? Somebody come to disturb my graveyard. Your graveyard? Yes, my graveyard, damn it. You think these old headstones just clean themselves, do you? Eh, it's a rather small graveyard, isn't it? Well, they move the graveyard inside the city walls, smarty pants. Nobody comes out here anymore, not that I mind. Oh, but if only they knew. Hee-hee, <laughs> my little graveyard has its secrets. Oh, yes, it does. And just what sort of secrets are you talking about? Well, all right then, listen close. They buried one of the oldest members of the Arcane Brotherhood here. Right here. Oh, yes. Oh, and what's interesting about that? This is very interesting because they carved out a whole tomb underneath the mausoleum, full of magics and everything. Or so I'm told. You haven't gone down there? Oh, no, no, no. I have the key, of course. There's just, well, zombies down there and such. They come up from time to time. That's why I keep the mausoleum under lock and key. Zombies? Mm, oh, yes, yes. They've been a bit restless for quite some time now. I imagine it's one of those wizards now and there, not quite as dead as he should be. You know how it goes. That doesn't frighten you? Us caretakers don't frighten easily. And besides, I imagine that fellow's busy with his books. He won't be bothering me for quite some time. What books? Oh, did I say books? Uh, uh, no, I didn't. I, I said he's busy with his book. With his looks. Yeah, that's it. Those undead look of fright, you know. No, you said books. I'm sure of it. Dang blast! The fine, fine. It just so happens that fool wizards left a whole collection of magical books down there. I don't know why. I bet they just plain forgot about them, I guess. Leave it to wizards. I ain't never seen them, but my grandpappy did. 
He said they were huge books, all covered in runes. The kinds of things wizards usually get their robes all in a knot over. Like this one wizard who came by him months back. Uh, El Tura, she said her name was? Yes, I know her. From Port Last, desperate to find the books. I didn't tell her nothing. Anyhow, I imagine these books are connected to whatever strangeness is going on down there. I don't mind. I just take things as they come. Why haven't you told anyone about this? Tell who? In case you haven't noticed, people are busy as bees with all their plagues and fighting and such. City's closed up tighter than a salt merchant's pocketbook. Me, I figure they'll notice soon enough when all them zombies begin pouring out of here. All in good time, as Regampappy used to say. How about you give me that key and I'll go down there? I'll let you plunder the tomb? Never! Uh, not for less than two hundred pieces, anyway. Uh, Fifty gold, and you can thank me for that. Are you that poor that you can't afford the... Blah, fine. Go ahead and take it. Well, we weren't going to give him 200 gold. We are, however, going to loot his pile of books. Who is a spell here. We don't want his book, though. We'll take this necklace, too. And then... You have a pile of skulls in the corner of your room. You know that, right? He knows that. Let's go and fight ourselves some more zombies. Because we haven't... Oh, the door is now open! Did they smash through the door? Did they smash through the door? This might actually be a slight challenge. And for a challenge, we need a tiger. There you go! This should help. Tiger's pretty good at killing zombies. Excellent. Yeah, those zombies aren't really going to be that much of a challenge. Whoa, they really aren't, said the tiger. They drop any loot. They drop zero loot. There are still a lot of... <laughs> well, I think we can just leave the tiger take care of all this. Literally, look at that! <laughs> Prepare to become just one cleaving its way through them. Literally. Literally just decimating them. There's also an enemy up there. We'll probably get round to you eventually, Darbor, don't worry. This is a big graveyard. This is a big graveyard. Actually, let's deal with the board now, shall we? There we go! Oh. Cannot see, therefore cannot fight. And no loot was dropped. However, there is a corpse here that we can loot. Also, we can see you now, which means... Oh, we can't see you anymore. Oh, well, fair enough. I imagine the, uh... Come on, this way. We are not going to be going specifically out of our way to deal with that. There is a statue here, though. It has 23 gold! We shall take that. There's a sarcophagus here. It is locked. Let us stop all of these from, uh, breaking it open and just open it the more conventional way. There we go. And can we rest here? Can we, in fact, rest here? The answer is yes. Which is good, because we want to go down there with all of our spells prepared. So apparently under this tiny little mausoleum is a huge tomb. With wizards that aren't quite dead. Which says to me either skeleton mages, or something worse. With that in mind, let's get ready for this. Also, I'm not sure that bull strength will stack anymore. It wouldn't stack in 3.5, but will it stack here? Let's find out. It does! Well, I'm pretty sure it did before, what with the uh, sheer amount of carry capacity at. 466 pounds! Well, when we come back, folks... We're going to deal with this tomb. We might as well just rip the door clean off its hinges with the amount of strength that we have. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. For I think one of the last quests involved in this area. Yep, I think it's just like the, uh, the five tomes. This is the last one. So, I'll see you then, folks. Later.